Welcome back, everyone. This is Mike with Disc Golf Fan Life, and we got the FPO lead card here for the final round, back 12 coverage of this monster 24-hole course at Four Palms for the 2023 Jacksonville Open, presented by Dr. Charlie Boraz, MD. Still joining me with commentary on the back 12 is tournament director Daniel Alexander. Yep, decided to uh, wrap up the FPO field for the 2023 Jacksonville Open. Yeah, it's a tight battle here at the top. We got Holly at seven down. Uh, and right behind her is Morgan Lenz at five down. And we got Sarah coming in at three down. And tied with her is Jessica also at three down. Yeah, definitely a tight battle as we... Uh... Get to the back half, which uh, definitely has some scorable holes. We'll start it off with hole 10, um, par 3, 312 feet. Yeah, another one of our water carry holes. Um, this one at least has a little bit more of a bailout area if the water intimidates you. But the water level is being pretty low. I expect these girls to uh, attack it. Yeah, you can play it pretty safe. It's a... Basic hyzer shot. You just don't want to leave it out too far right over the water. Yeah. Pretty good pull. It hooks up or gets across. Turned over. Gets across though. Yeah, she's she's safe. Hopefully the sun's coming out. Get a little more uh, traction on the tee boxes. Yeah, and I'd say the. Tougher shot here is not going straight across, but but actually hyzering in to the hillside and then possibly rolling down. Yeah, you definitely have uh, seen some rollaways that are very unfortunate on this whole past events. Holly, that's looking great. That's Get nice. through the tree. Yeah, nice wow. That'll work. That was a great shot. There here. On the right hand backhand. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to do her forehand right here, but she should be safe across there with Morgan. A little bit further away. Yeah, she's still safe. She got across. She is safe, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you went already. That's why I said Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. That's good height. That sounded great. Yeah. Stay up. Shot. She'll be a little bit kind of an awkward stance there with the tree limb, but give her a chance to get that birdie. Mm, not as awkward as the stance. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. Yeah, she's got to get down on a knee to avoid the ceiling right there because uh, the basket is still kind of elevated from where she's at. Still clips a couple of limbs, but makes it up there. Save her par. Pretty close to Jess, but she shot a little, a little less obstructed look. <clears throat> Morgan just throwing it up there, a little layup. Yep. In the little sand there on the side. Solid drive, drive by Holly here. A little awkward footing, but... Oh! A little uh, strong side chain out. Holly's been uh, putting good for most of the first half. Yeah, it's the problem with a putt that that's it's so confident and strong. Mm -hmm. The comeback is not not easy. Yeah, like you said, her her footing was a little bit awkward. That might have played into it a little bit. Yeah, she's been on point the whole round. Mm -hmm. See if Jessica can take advantage of the mistake. She definitely is going through the motions here. She's going to straddle. I wasn't sure what uh foot she wanted them. Plant. That lemon's just in the way. It doesn't matter. Gets it. Nice birdie. Great birdie. I love watching Jess go through those the motions on our putts there. She definitely seems like she's got it dialed in pretty well this, this round. Yeah, 
Oh, I no. Mean, sit down. This is on the weak side now. Yep. Yeah. It's two on a <coughs> characteristic missing by Holly. I mean, this basket can kind of get in your head. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, sitting there on the hillside, especially that comeback putt. Oh, definitely. And then even this, you gotta you gotta put uphill, and it's it's a lot more uphill than than it seems right here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Still confident. No, she doesn't like that four there, but a lot of golf left. Morgan, nice easy par after that easy layup. Two two scrambles there on the uh, other bank side of the, the pond, but walk away with the three. All right, and that'll get us on to hole 11, another par three, 280 feet. Yeah, this hole uh, plays uphill um, probably more than any hole we have at the course, which not much in our Florida elevation, but... Big thing is here is all the sand here. You get very, very minimal ground play. So wherever they pretty much hit, it's it's kind of roughly stick. Like just going the way outside. Get a nice skip. Um, and that's where you're kind of alluding to is the sand up there. You hit that sand and you just kind of die. Yeah. It's, it's one one part of the course where there's not ground play. It's most of the course you will get some good flares, but here it's kind of got this dud. Yeah. Oh, unlike unlike that one. Yeah, that, that one had a good little flare. There are some patches you'll hit. Mm -hmm. Sarah so go to the middle gap. There is OB to the right, but I, I think she's okay. Yeah, that's a riskier line to take, but yeah, I think she's okay. Holly with a nice turnover. Nice soft landing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be up there pin high. All ladies with some pretty solid drives. Big Sarah with a circle's edge putt here. The tree doesn't look to be in the way too bad. Maybe a little bit with her Anheuser putt. I gave it a chance. Jess, yeah, didn't get any ground play. Was hoping for a nice big skip off of that. Mm -hmm. She's about the same distance, right at Circle's Edge. Ooh, just off the middle. Hit the band there, it looks like. Great birdie. Great, yeah. Off of that drive, that was a great drive. Yeah, great way to play the hole. This is one of those holes that I feel like you play in a practice round and you score on and it doesn't seem too difficult, but I've seen this hole just, you know, fours and fives come out of nowhere. It's people, I think, just <clears throat> weird things happen to this green. Is it just me or is this like one of the most majestic shots <laughs> ever? You see this with the leaves blowing down? It is pretty nice. Oh, um, no. Fortunate for Holly there. Troubles on the putting continue for Holly. Well, that was for her birdie, at least. Unless mm. she wanted to get one back there after taking that bogey. but Yeah, that was for her birdie, but Morgan did take the birdie, so yeah. that's actually going to tie them up for the lead. Wow. Here at six under. It happened quick. Yeah, second hole into the back 12. Yes, with the cleanup putt. <laughs> Holly, that one didn't go too far on her. Shouldn't shouldn't be any problem for her. Still a good confidence builder for her. Not that she needs it. I'm sure she practices a lot, but yeah, she's gonna have to shake these couple of holes off. Definitely. There you go. Do not let off the gas. Yeah. I appreciate the confidence budding me back because I know I get I get the yips all the time if I miss a few. 
Yeah, you'll notice with her putts, uh, the ones she misses, it, they're they're not weak. No, for sure. She doesn't miss because they're weak. I'll tell you that. See, we're cleaning up her par. I'll take us on, I believe, to uh, hole twelve. Hole twelve, four hundred feet, another par three. Yeah, one of our longer par threes, but uh, pretty unobstructed. Um, the green itself is a little. On the hillside here, and of course these trees are small now, but I imagine years to come those will be a little bit more in play than they are this year at least. Of course, it's just gonna get better and better. That's the hope. We like some fine wine. <laughs> yeah, we did just relocate this pad, like honestly, probably months before the tournament. Um, put a little bit of the shade, a little bit of a better angle at the basket. Morgan got a little bit. More Annie than she wanted, I think, but still a good spot. Yep. She got all the distance. Testing those trees over there. Jessica, big, booming Anheuser. Gets the full flex. Yeah, nice shot. It's a little bit up on the hillside. She got pretty much 400 on that one, it looks like. It's a little right. She get enough height? Stay up, stay up. Yep. Not quite enough. Got out there though. Imagine she's going for a laser beam. Yep. Come on. Great shot by Holly. Good flare, good flare. Just probably circle two look I looks like up here slightly uphill yeah I mean as you said this is definitely the longer par three so it's gonna be really tough for, to get the birdie here mm -hmm. a little nose up approach half bid looks like yeah looks like Morgan uh I feel like that was more of a layup yeah yeah she has a nice uh soft forehand layup she likes to throw Holly running it definitely running it yep well has a run Jess, closest one. Best opportunity for a birdie here. Jess with a monster drive. Yeah, when she gets a hold of it, she can get it out there. Come on. Oh. Man, that just dropped for her. Mm -hmm. No wind out there whatsoever. And then... <laughs> See the wind out the <laughs> yeah, flag right. just whipping away. Give props to uh, Glenn Alexander for... Making sure the course looks great, getting all those flags installed and all these little custom basket bands you see on all of our baskets out here. You got a, if you happen to be at the course, got QR codes on them. Definitely scan them and uh, get support of those guys that support our disc golf tournament. All right, let's get on to hole 13. Another long one, but this one comes in at a par four for 471 feet. Yeah, it's a par four. Um, distance wise, it's short, but this is a, uh, our double mando hole. Um, kind of want to get as middle of the fairway you can right here to give yourself a good clean shot through these double mandos. Down to the green, give yourself a look for the birdie. Um, definitely could see scores get elevated here if you uh, get a little too aggressive and try to do too much. Yeah, you're really just trying to position yourself right here for a shot through those mandos. That is a great shot, it looks like. A little bit of a flare. Yeah, a little bit further right than she's going to want, but she's got that flick up shot. She's going to be just fine. Yeah, I think she'll be okay. Jess probably going down the right side. Yep. Kind of leak off to the left. Get a little flare. And it keeps going, but that's really where most players want to get and then gives them a nice soft hyzer approach through the mandos. It should be a little left. Um but she should definitely have an angle still to get through the mando without much much trouble. Sarah kicking it out to the left side, hoping to hook up and okay, hit a tree maybe. Yeah, there's a little bit of tree over there. It's it's a smaller one, but there's a walking path too. But mm -hmm. I don't think that came into play. Mm -hmm. Holly taking similar line as Jess. Yep, right there. Yep. That's pretty much right where our little par three basket is. It looks like Sarah just dropped. She has an angle here. She's gonna need to get this turned over. 
Yeah, play with, flat. Her, with her forehand, it's going to have a flip up and glide left. Oh, wow. Or just throw it in almost. Beautiful. What a great shot. That is insane to throw from a forehand. Sarah showing us why she is world class. Holly, a little cut off by this tree. She did make the mandos, no problem. Yeah, it came out with a little bit hard of an angle. Yeah, she had awkward footing, and that tree was definitely in her way. What'd I tell you? She's got that forehand upshot dialed in. No worries. Probably where she wanted to be in all reality. No, yeah. <laughs> Just has to get something probably a little high here to get deep enough. Probably the Sonic again? No. Oh, plenty Pushing deep. Long. Yeah, she definitely got deep. No problem with that. Uh, yeah, so Holly got stopped up in the brush a little bit, just on the outside, so. Still, she could put down, get the four. No Mando's missed on this uh, lead cart, FPO. Uh, she wanted that one. Yeah, she did. She had the distance on the drive, so. Another opportunity lost right there. This putt for Sarah. They're just playing the hole to perfection. Great three. And Morgan almost in the same spot. What I see here is obviously throwing the forehand off the drive is the more better option. <laughs> Both our forehand <laughs> players got the birdie. Right, that's what it would seem like. <laughs> the back um, end to the fourth. And I'll say with that birdie from Morgan, she now takes the lead from Holly at seven under. Here. And uh, you actually saw um, this hole on the harder holes for the ladies on the day, and um, only three birdies, and you saw two of them. So, top top tier play from our FPO lead card. All right, hole 14, 363 feet, par three. Yeah, so again, one of the uh, longer par threes, um, mostly due to the green is elevated and uphill, and it's, it's kind of tough to get a disc really to you know, get up that hill to get yourself a, an easy putt, shall we say. Um, another forehand throw from Morgan. Such a difficult shot. You got to get through that left side gap. Well, I guess it actually opens up the gap a little bit more, but to not turn those over. Yeah, the bigger thing is it's like you're gonna hit that hillside you're not gonna get any kind of movement see that's where yeah. sarah just had it turned over too much how yeah. it leaked a little far left you can't see it here on video but if you go really far left there is a really big bush over there you do not want to be in jessica with a beautiful pull keeps it a little too strong oh nope never mind oh, that never mind the perfect shot Thank you. the way it that ties is it up the hill. wow what a shot Holly trying to match that line. Get off it. A little short. Still, she's in a good spot. Man, that just shows you how great of a shot that was from Jess. Mm -hmm. yeah, that bush to the left of Sarah there is where you do not want to be. So Yeah, she was lucky to stop short of that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Woo. Good little half bid there. I like that. Holly trying to take the lead back. Nice right. bid. I like the little half bid she had there. She gave her an easy three to walk away. And Sarah with the par. Got three more little tap ins here. Mm, Jess with the tap in bird. Yeah. And uh, Jess with our only birdie from FPO here. That's a big stroke to get on the field. I mean, that's a big shot. Yeah. And she is clawing her way up too. Yeah. 
tight race here. The yeah, it is. Last few holes. All right, hole 15, another par 3, 242 feet. Yeah, so hole 15 is usually always one of our easier holes. It is slightly uphill. Um, there is OB long if you happen to really get a hold of something or get an unlucky skip off this uh, pine straw. But it uh, should be a birdie potential for all these ladies. Yeah, it's like a landmine between the uh, sand and the straw. Uh, are you going to dig into the sand or are you going to skip? <laughs> yeah. I do think the uphill helps the it stick. Usually more times than not, but okay, Jess going wide left, hoping for his skip. Interesting to see Jess on the forehand there, and she hit the line that I was mm -hmm. talking about. It looks like we're we're probably going to see at least three forehands now. Yeah, I mean the forehand line is probably a little less. Uh, it's probably more attackable, but I think the OB comes into more play if you get. A big skip off the end. I have no doubt for sure. Sarah with a pretty clean shot. Wow, right under the basket looked like. She should be good. Should be good. That's what I say. You're really testing going long right there. Uh, that's, I guess, why all the other ladies went forehand there. Yeah, yeah. It's a tighter line. You got to miss inside of this tree and outside of the next. Yep. So. I just pitching up. Laid that up perfectly. Yep. Got around the tree and everything. Just like right at circle's edge. She got a little more ground play than I thought she did. Wow, monster putt from Jess. What a birdie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Keeping on that momentum from the last birdie. Mm -hmm. That's really going to make things interesting now. Morgan wants to get this one to keep the lead. Oh. Uh, well, she's going to keep the lead. Yeah. But uh, only by one stroke. Oh, well. Apologize, yep. Yeah. Sarah went a little long, still the closest to the pin. There she goes. Great putt, Sarah. Mm, great birdie. Makes things interesting on that. Leaderboard for sure as we enter these last. Yeah, goals, yeah. Right? They're all just a couple of strokes within each other. Mm -hmm. And like I said, as expected, this was the, uh, the easiest hole on the day for the ladies. Average came at two point seven. Good to see a few birdies here on camera for sure. I'm gonna tap out and move on to uh, hole D, another par four. Yeah, hole D. Uh, biggest hole out here, I think, right? Uh, it's no second biggest hole. Mm -hmm. 595, par 4? Yep, par 4. Um, You got a Mando, you got a beat here on the left-hand side. And then, of course, you got the walking path there. That definitely comes into play Um, if you get some crazy wind out here. Green's a little bit guarded, but being it's sandy right here, usually you can get something to stick and give yourself some good chance to get a score on the rest of the field. We're going to see a big, big Anheuser flick shot. Come on. Yep. And Jess has been leaning on those and throwing them pretty well. And that is that is a great shot. Come on, slow down. I mean, right in the drop zone for the Mando. That's like the ideal landing zone. Right, yeah. You want to test that corner. As, get as close to that corner as you possibly can. Yeah, you really do. Uh-oh. Yeah, it, there is an OB line over Hook there up. as well. Hook up. There we go. And that's, again, a little dangerous, but the, the spot she landed is, is a great shot. Like you said, you definitely want to flirt with that OB line. Oregon got this on a little lifted. Yeah. It's going to be a tougher approach having to go through those trees. Yeah, those trees definitely can be hard to navigate through on your second shot if you... Don't beat him or give yourself a clean angle around. And Ollie 
Holly in a good spot too. She beat the trees, got a little left. <laughs> As you can see, this is a, a tough line to find something accurate. I'm not sure if she's underneath the trees or around them. A little to the left one. Listed on her a little bit. Should be good. Hazard a little earlier than she probably wanted, but she'll have a look still for the birdie. Sarah. I wonder if she's just going to go straight hyzer down the left side or flip it up and fade left. We'll there force, you go, left side. I'm going to force the Annie a little bit, hooking up a little late, but that's a clean putt for her. Right at circle's edge, it looks like, maybe a little outside. I mean, she hit the gap she was aiming for. So. For sure. Now, Holly, uh, this is a little tougher. You come in on this right side and you have, you know, any number of trees going to block you. Yeah, trying to force it in there. Trusted this, the highs are left. Miss everything. And hits a tree. Hit That's a still going to be a long putt, though. Yeah, she did kick left. Probably the same distance roughly Morgan's at for her putt. As you said, best spot possible, mm -hmm. my Jess, right here. You get this opening to the left side. Not many trees to avoid. Yeah. yeah. Hook up, hook up. Is a little deep, but that's still a great shot. I'd rather be deep here than short. Yeah, for sure. You have nothing in your your way, like Morgan that doesn't yeah. even try to putt it. Yeah. Holly with a chance here to get a birdie, though. Holly still got leaves right in her face, right there. Going to have to be a line drive. Oh, oh, good bid, though. Just short. Sarah, is this right inside circle, looks like? About 20, 25 feet, maybe? Yeah, she did, she wants this to jump in contention for first place. And she gets it. Great putt. Great putt. This is this is turning out to be quite the battle right here. Yeah. All four of these ladies are battling. Jess should be able to keep pace. Trying to make sure she does not miss this putt. Jess played that hole to perfection. I mean, through backhand, through a forehand, just great showing of her full skill set there. And uh, looking at the stats here, only had two birdies from FPO, and well, you saw them. This hole came in as uh, the fifth hardest hole for FPO, with a 4.13 average, and like I said, only two birdies. And with those two birdies, we've got uh, ties for first and second. Wow. So the seven down and six down coming in to hole E, 242 feet, par three. Yeah, so a little bit of a blind basket here. Um, you can see it from the tee box, but I uh, definitely need a little bit of help to get into the green. There's like two gaps. There's one you can hit early or one you can float something out there and try to dive into. And of course, this limb here you see around the tee box kind of takes away from how much height you can put on it. Just throwing a quick yeah. sidearm flick Kaiser in there. She attacked that real strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sarah kind of going similar route, maybe a little deeper. A little deeper. Like I said, there's 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 two routes there. It's a deep one and a short one. You really gotta pick one because if you get stuck in the middle, you're definitely gonna hit some lumps. Going for a lower, do a little skip. Holly with the only right hand backhand with a turnover. Oh, that wow. looked over nice. Yeah. Wow, great shot by Holly. I thought for sure she was going to go high on that, and she just hit right out of that limb and just knew exactly how her disc was going to fly. Kind of had to lob one over top of the palms. Yeah, like I said, she was kind of in that no man's land between the 
the two gaps. Oh, talk about no man's land. Sarah went deep and got herself caught up in huge palms. Yeah, she is way deeper than I thought she was on the tee box. And as we said earlier, you you already know those are razor sharp. Hard to get comfortable with your putt in that group. I have lost my disc in a palm like that before. Oh no, Jess. Such a great shot, and she's got. There we go. Just get right through him. Just split him. You've gone through emotions here before in putts like this, and usually she picks the right one. Ah, Not this time. Holly's drive. Definitely hit the clean, the clean alley. Yeah, and they're dropping for her. Mm -hmm. So gain that, that confidence back in her putt and does no problem. He said, give me give me a piece of that lead back. Holly taking the only bird there. We're gonna have a three-way tie now at seven down with four holes to go. Wow. Play a lot of golf. <laughs> yeah. And it's this tight. Hole F. Um 620 feet. Now this is this is the longest hole. Mm -hmm. Par four. Yeah, this is a hole we uh, actually only use in uh, the Pro Weekend. This hole usually is split in two for and weekend or casual play, but for the Pro Weekend, we bring it back. It's definitely a fan favorite, a local favorite, and decided to watch these ladies play it. Yeah, this one really just gives you an opportunity to bomb one out there. Uh, it's pretty safe to throw any shot that you have. Yeah, there is a Mando and OB left. And then, of course, you got the road right, but the fairway is pretty large, so expect multi's ladies to uh, not have any OB problems. Yeah, I think ideally you're aiming for that lone tree out there, yeah? Just where Holly's going. Uh, that looks ideal. That's where you want to go. Yep. You can see the little drop zone there for the Miss Mando. And you be there, beat the Mando. Give yourself a lot of options for that second shot. <clears throat> That's got a hold of that disc. You just hear the snap off of her fingers. Chasing the squirrels away down there. Sarah, did she get it up quite enough? Yeah, like she did beat the trees, volcano. though. Yeah, she's out there. She's going to have an approach for sure. Morgan gave it a little too much and kept it turned over. It was kept turning on her. Yeah, she's out there, but she's gonna be the longest, longest look. I want to give her a look for the yeah, bird. Yeah, yeah, she's like circle, circle one, circle two. Very touchy approach for Sarah. Flipping one over because you kind of got OB on the left and right. Yeah, you can't get up there. You can't go OB long here. Or you can park it. Or you can just park it. Yeah. You know, that was easy. <laughs> Wish you would have just told us that. Yeah. You know, hey, guys, shut up. I'm parking. <laughs> <laughs> Holly with a great drive. Great spot to be where she's at. It's a nice soft hyzer into the basket. Dig in. Sit, just sit. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, she could. Jess, oh my goodness. Monster threat from Jess. Got a chance to throw it in from here. Okay. Just gotta miss this tree. Eyes are back, eyes are back. Come up. There we go. Morgan just trying to get up and down. Take her take her par. Yeah, she was a little bit further away than she wanted. Mm -hmm. I thought Sarah was a little closer than this. She got a little tester putt still here. 
She needs this bird to keep pace with Jessica and Holly right now. Looks like all three of them got birdie looks. Oh, just off the basket. There we go. Holly definitely has that confidence with that putter. It's back to back birdies for. I mean, you see it every time. Like mm -hmm. I said, miss or make, that thing is coming out strong and confidently. Mm -hmm. Jess, Jessica, pressure is on right here. Holly's already made the bird. And she has got to collect herself. It definitely gets windy in this part of the course. It gets windy and you got cars passing you behind you sometimes. Oops. Not a thing for her. That's going to keep them both tied in the lead now at eight under. With Morgan one behind at seven under. And Sarah one behind her at six under. Good to see the ladies keeping it lighthearted, even in the heat of the competition. Bringing us on to hole 16, 370 feet, par 3. Yeah, one of the uh, longer par 3s in the course we have. Well, big thing with this uh, hole is this green with the soccer fields to your right is always windy. You can see there on the flagpole, it's leaning because it's always so windy on the hole. Yeah, you get some nice wind to help you mitigate this distance and it's I, f I feel like it plays downhill right yeah it does you definitely will get some good ground play off this as well you will definitely see a lot of rollers here um played from the uh the blue pads holly with a great drive that's exactly how you want to do it i mean she's putting the pressure on right there yeah she has dialed in these last few holes. Let's see what Jess can do. Get off it. Okay. okay she nicked the tree a little she bit. She nicked it and kept kept pushing forward at least. Yeah. Uh, definitely going to be a longer look than Holly. Sarah navigated somehow through all those ones. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> I don't think it nicked a single one. Nope. Morgan and Sarah really need to push it right here. Okay. Morgan definitely hit a little bit more limbs and took some of it out, but she's still in a solid spot here. Well, half yeah. bid. Settle for the par, really. Yeah. She definitely has that little touch. Sarah, you already know. Sarah's definitely going for it. Come on, stay up. Ooh, she had the height, too. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the real pressure. She knows that Holly's making it. Ugh. Two holes to go. Holly needs this to separate her from Jess. Give her the solo lead. So it's definitely windy on this green. I never take any putt on this hole for granted. She's not even thinking about that wind. Not a problem for her. Not Look at that. a problem one bit. She was just th all she was thinking about was making that putt and yeah. moving on to the next hole. That's why she's a professional. Oh, wow, I didn't notice Sarah pushed a little long on that. This comeback's not so easy with the... That's going to be a headwind coming at her, too. Not a problem. Looked like she opted to go... Uh, not with her normal Anheuser, but I think those are more susceptible in windy conditions. 
They were clean up with uh, two more pars. Move on to hole 17. Yeah, and that's going to bring us to hole 17 with Holly in the solo lead. Uh, 336 feet, par 3. Yeah, so uh, pretty open shot, but the green's pretty guarded. You got this bush to the left and then these few guardian trees. Um, well, you got to know what disc you're going to throw off this tee box with the wind swirling off of that soccer field and stay committed to how you're playing as you finish these last two holes up. Yeah, the flyovers you saw were for the uh, blue tee, p tee pads uh, from the MPO. They decide to go over the trees. The white tee pads are kind of cut off for that route, so you're going to see them go probably straight at it. Yeah, there might or might not be a Mando on this tree next year to avoid that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ollie. Ollie. What a shot. This is looking great. Wow, she is wow. not slowing down on these last few holes. Dialed in. That is how you put the pressure on as a leader right there. Jess, you have got you have got to make this. We know she's got it in her. Three hundred and thirty six slightly downhill. They all got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, came out a little sh little left. It's interesting to see if she tried to throw that Anheuser at it or tacked it a little bit more. Yeah, that's that got a little bit of a ground play. She's that's gonna be quite a putt. Sarah flipped it up. Just didn't turn it over enough for her. Morgan going backhand. Uh-oh. That's just going way left. That was a misfire. And that's pretty far over there. It's actually pretty probably clean for her. She got lucky right through. I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Right she got the perfect spot. Yeah, somehow right in that alleyway. But, hey, take it. That's got to be like her signature move right here is, is that forehand upshot. Yeah, forehand upshot. Yeah, it seems so effortless. Yeah. Pen she's, points of a lot. Yeah, she just walks up, tosses it up. Like, I know I got this. Sarah with a bid there. It's a little low, hit the basket. All right, Jesse, Jessica. Should we get from a knee again? Come on. Click. You did it before. We've seen this a few times. Let's already. do it again. Oh, <laughs> I thought for a second. Oh my <laughs> for goodness, for sure, man. Just has that shot dialed in. This is gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be tough now. Holly just parked. Yep. Big stroke here for Holly. Yeah, she needed this one. Mm -hmm. They were all nipping at her heels. Yeah, Holly's definitely been. Dial in these last few holes and really kind of I mean it's kept the pressure uh, been on. birdie, 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 birdie. Wow, that's yeah. Great way to finish your tournament up. All right, here we are. Final hole. Hole eighteen of twenty four holes with uh Holly in the lead, ten down. Uh next closest is Jessica at eight down. It's uh our last par four too. Yeah, six hundred and fifteen feet. Yeah, kind of a short one and I think I think it was the easiest hole or second easiest hole for FPL. Basket is elevated, can get a little bit windy, but the hole is definitely scorable. All right, these ladies played a phenomenal round today. Highlight reels for all four of them. Yes, they had all had great shots. It's definitely been a pleasure watching all these ladies play. Now I don't know if it's possible. I mean, this is a par four, so Jessica can try to put some pressure on Holly here, but. To make up two strokes is going to be tough. Holly still has to execute and you know finish finish this tournament strong. Puts a clean drive out there. All right, pretty solid spot to be. All right, I expect to see a nice booming full flex Anheuser from Jess. Oh. 
Oh yeah, she gets it. That's that's <laughs> what a throw. Wow. Oh my goodness. I, two strokes. She needs mm-hmm. two strokes, man. She gave herself a chance there. Definitely. It's not impossible. Sarah, I mean, they're still battling for second or, or third right here. And Sarah's in a good spot, too. All these ladies had pretty clean drive so far. We're going to the hook up. Looks like it is. A little shorter than the rest, but still. I mean, great drives from all four. Jess, really trying here. Looking pretty good. Oh, Sarah. that is hooking up. Perfect. Wow. wow. All right, same, similar shot from Morgan. Similar distance. A little to the left. Takes it a little lower. Oh, digs into the ground there. But she got it turned over or didn't get it high enough as she wanted. Holly just... Has to lay it up. Mm -hmm. Just park it under that basket. Play it safe. Yeah, she gets this birdie. It's I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, it'll be over. Yeah, if she gets the the birdie. Yeah, she gotta put it close to that still. Uh -oh. oh, she yanked that one. Uh-oh, that's a little wide. It's coming in here. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely not. This is making things interesting, Jess. <laughs> Holly, tough spot to make the birdie. So if Jessica can throw this in right now, she could potentially tie it up and force a playoff. Yeah. And I mean, Holly still has to, you know, put out still. Yeah, I mean, yeah. anything could still happen, but. Coming in. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. That almost went in for oh a throw an wow. eagle. That would have been something to see right there. What a shot, my Jeff. The crowd sitting there yeah. watching. Like one of those. Mm. Morgan with the mistake there is going to open up the door to Sarah. And Holly, you know, just safely laying it up there. Yeah. She doesn't need the birdie now. She knows Jess can't make the eagle. Almost made the eagle. Almost. Though. Yeah. Wow. What a way to finish. Sarah with that bird is going to sneak in and tie. Morgan for third. Sarah finishing the tournament very strong. Jess with a great bird. Great way to finish the tournament. Would have been awesome to see that eagle. I mean, she gave it her all. You saw the distance she got on that drop. Yeah. Holly, walking away with the win. Yeah, congratulations. Your 2023 Jacksonville Open FPO winner, Holly Finley. That's going to wrap up the 2023 Jacksonville Open, where we saw a tremendous battle that ended with Holly Finley as the victor. Giving her a run for her money in second place was Jessica Weiss, and we saw equally skillful battles from the rest of the field. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next course.